In a world of increasing turmoil and instability, Lithuania's security is most affected by processes in our neighborhood. Russia is not stopping its aggression against Ukraine and has the resources to continue the war for at least two more years. Almost entire Russian economy is subordinated to the war, even at the expense of the welfare of its people. Russia's war industry has managed to adapt to the needs of the front. The Kremlin has found ways to circumvent at least some of the sanctions. A small circle of Russia's international partners is supplying the weapons needed for the war, but the Russian economy stands on shaky foundations. Structural problems will deepen in the long term. While Moscow is focused on Ukraine, it is preparing for a long-term military confrontation with NATO. Military units are being formed in Western Russia. Belarus is also being armed and is gradually exchanging its sovereignty for greater Russian support. Minsk is stepping up its intelligence activities against Lithuania, taking advantage of the growing Belarusian diaspora in Lithuania. Belarusian services are also interested in persons traveling from Lithuania to Belarus. Their personal information is collected at the border and they are pressured by officials to cooperate with the intelligence agencies. China is expanding its arsenal of measures against Lithuania. Cyber groups linked to China are seeking to infiltrate the state institutions' networks. Beijing is increasingly interested in Lithuania's domestic and foreign policy issues. Hostile forces are not only spying but also seeking to influence processes in Lithuania. Malicious actors are spreading false information in line with Russian interests. They seek to break the will of Lithuania and the West to support Ukraine. For more information, see the National Threat Assessment prepared by Lithuanian Intelligence Community and available at www.aotd.lt and www.vsd.lt.